Hello Tauruses, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of May 24th to May 30th. If it resonates, consider a personal reading, of course. Just send me an email or a DM so we can set that up. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides the Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Tauruses for the period of May 24th to May 30th? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to Universe and closer to Divine? Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated. And we thank you for Tauruses for the period of May 24th to May 30th. Can you please show me general energies for Tauruses? General energies for Tauruses. We have the Nine of Swords in the upright. Click on the link below for your Vimeo reading, which will be your weekly extra. It'll tell you about your love, your career, your finances, and your health. In the challenge position, we have the Eight of Cups in reversed. In my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon predictions, 2022s are coming out midsummer. I also have in there, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? We have the page of swords in reverse for advice. And we end on the eight of wands in the upright. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. So Taurus says, it seems like for general energies, you're really in your head about something. Um, really a lot of angst, a lot of anguish, uh, sitting up in bed in the middle of the night being like, what can I do? What can I do? Um, those kind of negative thoughts are actually paralyzing you. Um, some, what's, what's the analysis paralysis is this card? You know, the more you think about it, the less you're going to do about it or the less you can think about constructive things to do about it. So it seems like... Um, things are heavily on your mind during this week in regards to that. Um, the challenge is you are ruminating with the Eight of Cups and the Upright. You seem to keep on kind of going back for some reason. Um, I don't know. I mean, sometimes Eight of Cups to me is like going back because you're confused. You need closure. You're seeking answers. You're going back to poke the bear, pick the scab, um, whatever idiom you kind of want to, what, what you kind of want to use. And I don't think going back is necessarily helping you. Like I said, I think it's rumination, like going back to these thoughts is just or, or going back to whatever it is is just causing the um the situation to persist um advice we have the page of swords here in the reverse so it's telling me that you're kind of holding back from saying something you have a fear of saying something but if you say something it might clear up whatever is going on here is what i'm kind of getting so if you just speak your mind to who you need to speak your mind to um it might actually work out better for you instead of just um, staying alone with your thoughts in bed at night and wondering what to do and how to kind of go about it. And when you do so, I think you do do so. Um, I actually think you do end up saying something because the Eight of Wands to me is when someone, sometimes it's when someone's just hammering someone, they, they're just getting it all out. Um, uh, I, I am going to say with you guys, sometimes you tend to repress things and bottle them up. And then when they come out, they come out in a blaze of glory. And this is what can happen. I mean, they are telling you to kind of, um, that, you know, fear of expressing is kind of what's holding you back, but you might not want to just launch all your grenades at one time, um, as you move forward. So be a little cautious about that. Maybe, um, you know, um, just, uh, sugarcoat it a little bit or be a little softer in your delivery. And I think sugarcoating was the wrong word. So um, what are these cards before me? Who are these people? What are these energies for Tauruses? Additional messages for these cards before me. Who are these people? What are these energies for Taurus for the period of May 24th to May 30th, starting with the Nine of Swords in the reverse? Yeah, this, yeah, th that thought process is really kind of, look, the hangman. It's not, it's not allowing you to move forward. You're just kind of, you're just kind of hanging out. Um, and, and it's, it's causing you to see, be suspended. It's causing you to be stuck. So if you continue to ruminate with these thoughts and nothing productive is going to come out of it. Um, and you could also be, like I said, bottling up these things, just keeping these thoughts to yourself and letting them kind of eat you alive. Um, and you have to ask yourself, well, what do, you, what do you want out of this? And start asking yourself important questions for enlightenment so you can kind of break out of it. Why is the Eight of Cups here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy in regards to challenge? 
Yeah, you keep on going back or you're thinking about going back because you don't think that you've gotten what you've deserved. Um, this person has taken from you or taken advantage of you or um, they got something that you didn't get. Um, something really unequal um, in regards to that. And you're, 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 the challenge is you, you keep on going back to that point in time um, or back to that situation. It's really kind of, like I said, it really is kind of eating you alive. Why is this page of swords here in reverse in the advice position? Who's this person? What's this? Yeah. And there's that. Here it is. So here's the, the eight of wands in the upright saying, say what you have to say. Say what you have to say. You have a lot on your mind. You need to come out and say it. But again, be careful of the delivery, okay? You don't kind of want to uh, just always consider how the other person is going to receive it. Um, you know, so I, I often say if you have something to say, um, keep it as though it's a business conversation, like how you would talk to a business associate rather than getting your emotions involved. Um, you guys are usually cool and composed until until somebody makes you blow your stack and then you just let them have it. Um, you don't want to come across as that. Why is the Eight of Wands here in the upright as Taurus has moved forward? Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups here. Let me pull an additional. Why is the Eight of Wands here as Taurus has moved forward? Who's this person? What's this energy? Hmm. Okay, so I almost, I, I'm almost getting like they're saying, they're saying what I sort of said. Um, you know, that, that you have things bottled, bottled up. You're very anxious when you move forward to kind of do something about this. You're frustrated. Um, you know, things haven't changed. Maybe the situation is perpetuated and you're kind of over it. But the Queen of Cups here is telling you to consider the other person's emotions. Um, you know, treat them not with kid gloves, but just kind of when you're going to say something, is it going to help them get to a better place or just is it just going to tear them down? Um, are, are they going to... Is it going to be kind and understanding? Um, you know, he, just just consider the other person's feelings is what I'm kind of getting because they're 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 they could be a very sensitive person and not very thick skin. So if you just kind of like blast them, um, it might not turn out very well. Like I said, I know you're very anxious to say things, but they're saying just just you know just help this person to understand um, rather than just kind of rail them is what I'm getting. So that's what I have for you, Tauruses. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or DM so we can set that up. Um, check out my playlist in there. Oh no, click on the link below for your Vimeo link below for your love, your career, your finances, and your health in my 2021 playlist in my playlist for my 2021 sun moon predictions 2022s are coming out midsummer um what is your ideal career based on your mid heaven what is your compatibility with your partner sun sign ask me a question on instant go check me out on facebook instagram or tiktok like share subscribe or donate otherwise i will see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnet bye